shadow not a sound when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we see Jesus will sing and shout the victory. Hallelujah. Gongeni, I'm going to praise God with the two songs. Then I will tell you which choir is following. Bure, bure, bure. 
What do you say to Mgongeni? Amen. Amen. Huko mbinguni ni mahali pa furaha sana. Hakuta kuwa na shida na mambo mengine ambayo tunaona hapa. Na mimi natamani kuwa pale sijui wewe. Bas tunapoendelea na uimbaji tunaenda kualika kwa yetu ya Nyali West ili na wao pia waweze kuja mbele na kumsifu Mungu kwa ajili ya nyimbo mbili. Nyali West. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice 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 and again I say rejoice 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 and again I say rejoice rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice Amen Nyali West watakapomaliza KMTC kwaya mjipange Yeah. 
wangapi kwa Yesu Dimi yetu ya mwaka huu inasema aje I will go Yes let us go and bring people to Jesus Christ na tutakuwa na sababu ya kwaya nini ya kushangilia KMTC kwaya Now if this is the way we are singing here on earth is this nice What about that heavenly choir This is very wonderful Sindio Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Sims of mercy never see, sing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me ever to adore thee, may I still thy goodness prove. While the hope of endless glory You know for you who will not be able to get the chance to come and sing here This is the time for you also to sing I'm also giving you an opportunity to sing Sawa sawa So when you are singing you, you sing Okay Yes Game to see choir You're going to praise God with two songs And then uh, we have a children's choir then we'll have family life choir for the first round. Then I will tell you what next. So children choir walimu muanza kujitarisha bada KMTC na wao pia waje wa msifu mungu.
Naombea KMTC namna gani? Asante sana Mungu awabariki mnapoendelea na kazi hiyo. Yes, good evening. Yeah, so your song in to remember ni one of the songs of our new album. It was dedicated uh, two weeks ago. The song we've sang is the album title Mawimbi ya Maisha. So I still have some few copies there kama 30 hivi. Tanipendeza sana na itapendeza mbingu kama sisi sote hapa tajichukulia CD kila mmoja. Amina? Amen. Yeah, so the CD just goes at 100 bob a CD. So it is as cheap as that. Atujepandisha jumafuta imepanda. Yeah, so it's 100 shillings. Make sure you, you get me after the Sabbath because saya tuwezi uza, it's still holy hours. So after the Sabbath, can find me, then you pick a copy of yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. After the Sabbath, you can see them. If you cannot cross the ocean,
You can get the CD, you give it somebody, it will go far. Now, I've been notified ya kwamba uh, wageni wetu wa mgongeni wanaomba uh, to, they are requesting to to leave. Eh? So, and uh, they had communicated that they will be leaving us a bit earlier. Kwa hivyo tuta interrupt hile wada yetu kidogo ili kwamba tuwaite waje wa msifu mungu na nyimbo tatu kisha watu wage then we'll have the children sing and the church choir alafu tukue na break ya bible study then we come for another round of singing sini sawa sawa yeah so let us understand them they are requested that uh, they be with us up to that time so they are going to give us top three then after that, we love the children and the mother church. Then we get to uh, Bible study. I hope that is understandable. Okay. Karibun. Bana 
Mwambayeta kwenye nyumba yako kwenye mwamba imara Mwamba wa kale ni Yesu mwenyewe nyumba itasimama imara Japo kuna harufu na mbele kali zijapo huma Sini wake uko pale pale nyumba itakuwa salama
song but kwa sababu inabidi na mulisha tuambia mapema kuwa mtatoka satisa ina tunawaaga tu hivyo but we are so grateful and before you leave Naalika director kidogo kuja utusemezane na sisi kidogo tu. Just a word. Happy Sabbath. Tunawashukuru sana watu wa family life. Ni vile tumekagwa kidogo na mambo kule kanisani. Lakini naamini kwamba tuko pamoja. Otherwise Mungu awabariki. Lakini mniruhusu kwa dakika moja tu kwa sababu ni music Sabbath. Nataka ku introduce uh, rafiki yetu ambaye tuko naye katika chi yetu. Uh, mwalimu Kasera tafadhali amka malipopoti umesikaa. Mwalimu Kasera. Asante. Ah. Uh, ah uh, huyo ni mwalimu wetu. Tuko naye kutoka kanisa la Salasala Dar es Salaam, kwa hivyo tuko naye pamoja. Wangapi wanamkaribisha Mombasa? Asante sana. Nimeambiwa nisiongee sana kwa sababu ya muda. Ubaki na amani ya Bwana. Asante. We are so grateful wanakwaya wa mgongeni. Mungu awabariki. Mkienda muende na amani ya Bwana. The relationship I hope has started and it will continue. Tutawalika tena for another one. Na nyinyi pia kama mko na nyingine pia a music sabbath feel free to invite us and may god bless you na kabla umjaenda wacha elder wetu pia aongee na nyinyi awaombe ndio muende bana asifiwe unajua kasi ya uimbaji ukiona wanaimba hivi they have sacrificed a lot time and resources Hata kwa yetu inapotoka hapa we don't even give them fair kwenda ku perform anywhere ni personal sacrifice nikiuliza hivi kanisa iko walipia waweze kuja wamejitolea kufanya nani Mungu kazi The book of Proverbs Revelation chapter 3 verse 11 nasema Naja upenzi shika sana ulicho nacho asije mtu akaitua touch yako the talent that you have ishikirie sana. Mtu asije akakunyang'anya. Kama Mungu amekuacharia huko na Saudi ya kuweza kumsifu, msifu kwa sababu tumeambiwa kule mbinguni ni nyimbo tutaimba. Tuanze kuzoea sasa ili tuweze kumsifu Mungu. Hata ukiwa peke yako, sing like nobody is seeing you. Wengine wanasema dance like nobody is seeing you. Ushawahi kudansi ukiwa peke yako. Pengine umekaa kwa kio. Uko in, in a single room. Hao wamecheka. Kama wame wameshawahi kudansi. Eh? <laughs> so, na kuimba sometimes nikiwa roni nikifanya chuo kali. Na kumbuka sile nyumba za samani nikianza kutembea hivi, nikienda mpaka pale nikirudi chuo ikinipiga. Kuna nyimbo bado sijasahau. Na kuna fases in the Bible siwezi kusahau saa zingine na recite nikitembea. Kwa hivyo sika sana kila ulicho nacho na asindaye Mungu atamfanya kuwa nguso katika nyumba yake. Nasi umuhimu wa nguso katika hii nyumba hii nyumba tukitoa hizi bills. Hii nyumba itashuka chini. You have a party to pray in the kingdom. So shikiria sana na Mungu asiti kuwaongeza nguvu na msiti kumtumikia.
kadiri mnafio heshi na Mungu aweza kuwabariki. Nataka tuweze kuomba kwa sababu wanaenda Mungu aweza kutembea nao na mpaka wakati mwingine tena amepanga tunaweza kukutana. Tunaomba. Mtakatifu na mfalme wetu ishie milele. Masaa haya tunakuja katika kiti chako cha Yesu tukiwa na wingi wa shukrani. Chisi umekuwa nasi na umetuandaa kwa sababu ya siku hii. Saidi sana tunataka kuombea kanisa eh, kwa ya kanisa ya mgongeni kwamba wame, walikuwa wamepanga wa kusifu pamoja nasi hapa mpaka jione. Lakini kwa sababu ambazo asiwezi kuebukika wanataka kuweza kutoka. Ombi letu ni kwamba fanya kituo katika usafiri wao, usafiri katika eh, katika safari yao wanaporudi kwenda kanisani mwao. Saidi ya yote washikirie imani yao kila mmoja wao. Ili kwamba tuweze kuwa nguso muhimu katika ufalme ambao ujao. Tujarie usima, tujarie neema zako, siwe za kutosha, tusamee dhambi zetu na makosa. Tayarishe kwa sababu ya kurudi kwako mara ya pili ni katika china ya Yesu tumeomba hata kuamini. Mungu aweza kuwabariki mkienda pereka salamu zetu. Asanteni sana kwa ya mgongeni Mungu awabariki na next time we call you for another function. Uh, please feel most welcome to come. Tunaendelea na program yetu tulikuwa tumebakisha katika round 1 kwa ya watoto alafu na family life church choir na vijana pia najua mko tutaimba kwa round 2 so we want to give the children a chance to sing two songs then we call the family life church men choir baada hiyo tufanye bible study then we go to the second round of singing which will be opened by the vijana kwa hivyo watoto muweze kuja mbele kwa ajili ya kuimba Watoto wote wadogo wampenda o ye tulio vito vya ravyo mali yake ku kama nyota ta nga
What do you say to our children? Amen. Mungu wa bariki sana. Itawe songa, happy Sabbath. Usimame, usimame utusalamie. Majua wani watoto wako, ulienda ukawasa au. Amen. Amen. And, uh, you still have an assignment. Itawe songa with these children. I hope you'll get time, and the uh, children teachers will plan for that to happen. Tunaenda kualika kwa ya family life, waimbe nyibombili, kisha tufanya Bible study. Family life kwa ya muko, ni tembe apo, kwa nini na amini malaika yu. Kando yangu ni na yohazi na yangu ni mewe kajubi kuni jubi kuni na mi ni na ami ni malaika yu kando yangu ni na mbe ya po ni na yokura kwa ni ni na ami ni malaika yu kando yangu. Ni na yo azi na yangu ni mewe kaju bingu ni ju bingu ni na mi ni na ami ni malaika yu kando yangu.
Say to family life choir, Amen. Amen. May God bless you so much. For us, we want to sing song number 46. To keep what we na asha in Bible study. We want to marry Arubani na sita. Keep what we asha in Bible study. Miguu ni pake yesu. Let us stand up. Wimbo nabari arubaini na sita. Mi tuanze. Mi guni pake Yesu. Maneno ya ketamu.
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naam, asante tena wakati mwingine ambapo ni wakati hatari. Halo. Tuko pamoja? Tunaonana? Asante sana, asante sana. Sasa ni kipindi cha Kipindi gani? Bible? Bible study. Aya study guide yetu inatoka 2nd Timothy 3:16-17. That is our study guide. 2nd Timothy 3:16. Pale ndio sote tunaanzia, that's where we place our foundation. Inasema all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction in righteousness that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. That's according to New King James. Nasema, kila andiko lenye pumzi ya mungu, lafaa kwa mafundisho na kwa kuwaonya watu makosa yao na kuwaongoza kwa kuwadibisha katika haki. Ili mtu wa mungu awe kamili, akamilishwe, akamilishu, amekamilishwa apate kutenda kila jema kila tendo jema mtarudia kila andiko lenye pumzi ya Mungu lafaa kwa mafundisho kwa kuwaonya watu makosa yao kwa kuwaongoza na kuadibisha katika haki ili mtu wa Mungu awe kamili amekamilishwa apate kutenda kila tendo jema that is what we want to do for the next not so many minutes. Bible discussion is a Bible study. It's a Bible discussion. It's where people interact. Ni mahali ambapo watu wanaingiliana, wanaulizana, wanaelezana kwa sababu hapa ndio tunajuzana. Ndio tunajuzana. Sasa presentation yetu ya leo tutaiunganisha Na ile tulisoma asubuhi katika Matthew 5:14 mali tulisema kwamba sisi ni nuru ya ulimwengu nikasema inapofika masaa haya tutasema music the lighthouse of god the lighthouse of god lighthouse kwa ufupi ni taa na sana sana zinatumika kule baharini Wakati meli sina safiri sikielekea bandarini kuna taa ziko juu sana zinawaonyesha wale makaptain mar, ma, ma marubani vile watapeleka meli zao na kule pia wanapoingia baharini kule wanapoingia katika bandari kuna hizo taa zimewekwa baharini za kuwaongoza kwamba hapa musiende kuna kuna mwamba hapa kuna mchanga Maji marefu yako hapa tembea. Na sisi tumewekwa kama hiyo lighthouse. 
kuonesha watu hapa pana mwamba utagonga mwamba hapa pana mchanga utazama lakini hapa ndio maji yanastahili kutembea hapa ndio njia ya sawa kutembea waliopewa jukumu hilo kwa msiku ya leo ni waongozi wetu katika kitengo cha uimbaji na tuombe baba katika miguu yako tunakaribia wewe ukiwa ndiwe mwalimu mkuu tuko chini yako utufundishe Utusiki, utushike masikio utufundishe kama vile watoto wadogo tupate kuelewa kwa uhaki na upendo chinzi ambavo tunastahili kutembea ni katika jina la Kristo tunaomba amen kwa sababu tunafundishana nitatumia neno light house light house na kila herufi kila herufi tutaelewa inasimamia nini kwa hivyo wale ambao wangependa kuandika wataandika kwamba sisi sote leo ni lighthouse ya ulimwengu mtu akikuona anaweza ona mwangaza ama ataona giza kwa hivyo kwa araka upesi tutatumia kila herufi kwa mfano light inaanza na l nitaeleza maana ya l i g h t h o u s e inamaanisha nini ninapoongea na Mkristo mwenzangu nitatumia kikundi cha kwaya for the purpose of our discussion because it is our day kwa hivyo mwana kwaya uko huru tuongee tuulizane tuelezane kama hali unaona nitakukwaza sana siko hapa kutageti mtu niko hapa ili tuelezane vile neno linasema nitaanza l ukiwa wewe ni mwana kwaya ama ni mwimbaji wa kujisimamia wa kikundi ama wa kanisa my l will stand for two things love love and listen love and listen John chapter 15 verse 12 My Jesus says This is my commandment that I, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you Ikiwa sisi tunataka kushiriki katika kikundi kimoja na tuimbe kwa sauti moja You must love one another in that team. If at all tunatakikana ku make a spiritual impact, we must love one another. In that love kuna L ya pili, listen, love and listen. Deuteronomy 117, God says, you shall not respect persons in judgment, but shall hear the small as well as the great uongozi katika mahali popote tusiwe na upaguzi tunapoongoza watu wetu ni bali tuwapende na katika kuwapenda tuwasikilize wakubwa kwa wadogo katika vikundi vyetu lazima kuna wakubwa na wadogo Tunastahili kuwa sambamba yani hali moja lakini sisi wenyewe tumejiweka katika vikundi kulingana vile we mwenyewe umejiona ama vile mwenyewe umejiona my bible says you shall not respect persons in judgment but you shall hear both wakubwa na wadogo kuna mtu katika kikundi anajiona yeye ni mdogo kwa sababu maybe katika jamii yeye bado ni mdogo 
katika uweza yeye ni mdogo katika kanisa hana cheo chochote bado yeye anajiona ni mdogo atachukulia mdogo mdogo mpaka mwisho kumbuka wakati kina Yoshua na Caleb na wale wenzao kumi walipotumwa wale kumi wakaleta ripoti wakisema kwamba sisi ni fiparare mbele ya wale sio kwamba wale waliwaona ni fiparare wao wenyewe ndio walijiona we are grasshoppers inawezekana you belong to a team that is here to praise god but you consider yourself as small and others as great my bible says as leaders it should be a quality that you listen to both because it is surprising how many people just need somebody to listen to them so you are there to verbalize their need somebody wants to be listened to inawezekana uko katika kwaya unataka ku contribute you want to contribute you want to say something but mkubwa bado anakulaza mkono wako chini anajifanya hakuone you feel like ah uh ah -uh. kwani mimi ndio i don't belong here it is my prayer that if you are a leader make sure you ikiwa you cannot laugh and listen to all of them then your leadership will be questioned unity of the choir starts uongozi kuonesha love and the listening bila kubagua mkubwa au mdogo I. Kama muongozi katika mahali popote you have to involve kushirikisha kuwashirikisha wote iwe akusoma alisoma uwashirikishe wote kwa maana kitu kimewaleta pamoja ni nyimbo na sifa sio fieo vya kusoma ama kutosoma you have to involve wote katika maamuzi uwashirikishe wote so the wisdom of involving all is required as a leader so when we are talking about this we are talking to all leaders but through the choir this is a leadership quality that you involve wote kwa maana there is no monopoly of ideas there is no monopoly of wisdom kila mtu akona maana mbele zake Mwenyezi Mungu i say this if you don't engage them positively the devil will engage them negatively if you don't involve them in soul winning the devil will use them for soul fighting meaning the choir and other leaders soul winning is their business is their business so as we love and listen to them we involve them tunawashirikisha so that they also feel they belong together g john chapter 1 verse 79 John chapter 1 verse 79 inasema kuangaza wakao katika giza na uvuli wa mauti na kuiongoza mivuu yetu kwenye njia ya amani to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet in the way of peace you guide them kwa mfano sometimes kwa zinatoka kanisani you go to minister in villages you go to minister in streets kuna watu wako humu humu wako mandizini mandizini hapa wako kwa streets wako kwa tunnels they cannot come to church it is you to go to them you minister to them through the ministry that Jesus has given you by that they will be guided they will be attracted to you they will follow you it is our responsibility to guide on top of that naongeza Isaiah 11:6 listen to what the bible says the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard leopard shall lie down 
with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and the little child shall lead them. Sometimes it is possible that kiongozi ya mepeo uongozi na wakansa hey, huyu uh -uh. huyu ni mdogo huyu ni kijana mdogo atawezache kutuongoza sisi wazee sisi wa mama wazee wakubwa tutawezaje kuongozwa na kwa ya director ambaye ni kijana my bible says a little child shall guide you mtoto mdogo pia anastahili kupewa cheo kwa sababu ni Mungu atamtumia kutuongoza bwana asifiwe we are there to guide to guide h h as a saved christian h stands for help 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 msaada msaada help second kings 626 second kings 626 and as the king of israel was passing by upon the wall there cried a woman unto him saying help my lord o king ikawa mfalme wa israeli alipokuwa kipita ukutani mwanamke mmoja akamuita akisema unisaidie bwana wangu mfalme if you don't take care of the welfare of your people there will be warfare amongst them take care of the welfare of your people if you feel that you belong to a group na unafinyika usiumie but cry for help help itisha msaada Kuna watu they belong to a certain group anaumia kimawazo stress na munyonga hawezi kusema na wengine kwa sababu anajiona maybe yeye ni mdogo yeye ni maskini akiomba itakuwaje how will they feel watamchukulia vipi anaona wacha nikuve peke yangu mm -mm. shout out for help na mtu akiitisha msaada kwenu jamani peana nini Peana nini? Mbona mnanyamasa msaada inaonekana ni ngumu sana. Mtu akiitisha msaada kwenu peana nini? Yeah, you also need God to help you. Help somebody. Help somebody. Help somebody. Take care of the welfare of that somebody who is less fortunate. Because nimesema if you don't take care of that welfare, there will be warfare. Vita itakuwa. Kama hakuna masilai, vita itachukuliwa. Light ya mwisho T. T. Teach. Mbili. Teach, stroke, train. Teach and train. There is no choir that does not teach or train. You are taught, you are trained. That's a reality. That's a reality. It's a fact. And it is a truth. That teaching is a must, training is a must. The Great Commission is about teaching. You can't baptize people, baka wafundish. They cannot receive the saving gospel until you teach them. You preach to them. So Matthew 18, 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So Jesus wants us to be taught. Not only you train how to sing, you are also trained on how to march, on how to dress, on how to respond, on how to salute, on how to respond to salutations. Yana mancha salamu. Sio salute easy. Salutation salamu. We have a problem when it comes to teaching and the training. Number one, we have a problem. I don't know whether it belongs also to this choir, but the choirs I have seen. 
Kitu kinaitwa Bible study and the devotionals. Bible study and devotionals. I don't know. But you know. <laughs> what time do you come to church? What time do you come to church? Kuna wale najua. They come almost when Bible study mefanya nini? Is about kuisha. Sindio? Hello? When the Bible study is about kufanya nini? Because ni mesema leo tunafulishana tuna 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 tunaonyana tunarekebishana let me ask let me be honest with one another i want to talk to only one us how many of us don't have lessons don't have lessons is lesson tunasoma quarterly lesson how many of us don't have don't have okay mikono chini how many of us have them okay do we participate? Do we participate? Do we come to church to participate in Bible discussion, lesson discussion? Do we? You know where you belong. Don't say yes or no. You know where you belong. I'm challenging you. Most of us to now go lesson discussion. Wata mupatikane sai munatumwa. Nenda wapi? Uko, unaambiwa, you are going to give us a devotion, okay? And then you are like, Bwana Director, wh wh why didn't you tell me yesterday? Eh? Sister, can you pray for us? No, 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 no. Siunge, <laughs> siunge ni text jana kwamba I'm going to pray today. Hello? You know kazi ya mungu ni in, inampango, eh? God likes order. So you should have told me yesterday that I'm going to pray today. When I see you, eh, eh, director na umia. Can you lead us in a, in a, a, a devotion? Our elder will do tomorrow. Can, can you do it? If you have not seen this, kama mujaona iyo, usi pende kuyona. Hello. But for the sake, now to Najifundisha. Have we seen it somewhere? Uh, may, may, may I see by the show of hands? Have we seen it somewhere? Nimesema, nione kwa jili kwa njia mikono. Have we seen it somewhere? Yeah, we are active, you know. We must be healthy. Mikono juu. Tumeyona maali. Sindio. Tunaogopa lesson, Bible, discussion. Hello. Teaching and training is a must for a Christian. Mbona wa Adventista wanaitwa dini ya wasomi? One day a pastor came to our church. Alipoanza kuhubiri akasema, "Thank you so much Kizingo. The only church that speaks English but uh, sings in Kiswahili." Hey. <laughs> Since then, kwaya walianza kuimba nyimbo za English. Bwana asifiwe. <laughs> they started practicing training on how to sing in English. Hello. Oh yes. Congregational tunaimba kizungu kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Ikifika kwaya sansi bazote. Bwana asifiwe. Ikifika kutuudia, hakuna mtu anajua Kiswahili. Ikifika kuhubiri, nobody knows. Kiswahili. Everybody speaks English. Wow. Hello. Teaching and training is a must. If we want to know God more, we want to hear more from God. Miguni panani. Maneno yake. Lakini uwezi kusema maneno yake tamu. Na huja karibia hayo magui ya kristo. Teaching, training is a must. Genesis 14, 14, I like it. I like it. I want to repeat that first because I see it here some time back. There's a first that when, 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 
My Bible says that, and when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained, trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. Abraham was more than 80 years old. He had trained people in his house. We can't afford to do less. We must train our people on how to serve God. For you to say, I will go, you must know who you are, where you are going, what you are going to do. So you must be taught. You must be trained. Let me tell you. I said you are trained even how to walk. You don't just walk anyhow. Esquire members, you don't just walk anyhow. Eh? I was watching when you were coming. Kiyashima Kweli. You know how to walk. You are trained on how even to position yourself. Wakati muko hapa mbele. You know how you position yourself. But unfortunately, I have seen somewhere. You, be, you belong to a certain uh, voice. Unajua jirani yangu ndiyo huyu. Then all of a sudden you see kiongozi anakuja, anakutoa. Anawek huyu, anapanga huyu, anawambia sawa. Endelea. Musha wana kitu kama hiyo? Hello? Musha wana kitu kama hiyo? He position usia kodi into your voices. Hello? Hey, vile melody natoka. Sidiyo? Kumbe, others tunaguja kugundua. Kumbe, no. That's not a thing. Anajua huyu na huyu ni kisira? Kisirani, anatoe kikisirani, anakiweka hapa, analeta iki anaweka hapa. Hello. I know. To us, we know that unapanga according to your melody. Only to be like sapana. This one, this one, hapendezi akika karibu na na huyo. You are even taught how to talk. Munafundisho about hospitality. Hospitality. How do you welcome? How do you behave when you go out? There is a difference when you are doing inreach and when you are doing outreach. If you want to know, if you want to know how you behave, just go to a different environment. Hello? Sinikweli? Tumezoea Mombasa hapa. Tunajua kila kitu hapa. Kesho ambiwa sasa munaenda wapi? Munaenda wapi? For instance, munaenda wapi? Ha? Si haya? Si, si, si. No, si, 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 Mombasa. Munaenda? Munaenda Nairobi. Yes. Sasa unanza kutune na mentality ya wapi? Nairobi. You want to behave how city people behave. But it is possible because some of us we don't know our temperaments. We don't know why we act the way we do. We don't know. Ikifika kule mukirudi hey ndio tunapata Sijui ni CD ama ni DVD. An official. How you behaved. Usha sikia kuamba. Eee, hey, alituwaibisha. Mm. Chakula alikuwa hakula kama nini. Halo. Hey, yule mama ata alikuwa anabe. Anabeba. Ehe. Uh Alafu. -huh. Hey. Ata hatu kukula vizuri. What was it? Green stang, we can see my green smaraja. Eh? Kwani wale watu wawana hata eh? Hakuna kakuku kalipita mahali, eh? Sindio? Hata mayai, sindio? Pengine pia umekula mayai lakini tunatarajia something, sindio? Hello? One day we were somewhere tulienda makambi, tukamaliza 
day, second day, third day. Then my pastor, akaita ile catering committee, akaombia, simama hapa nyote. Yani, hii ni siku ya tatu. Siku ya ngapi? <laughs> Now, I was happy. Nisikise pastor na sema nini. Haka uja, kwani hakuna nyama? Then, wakamuambia, thank you pastor. Umetufungua. Mwana asifiwe. Umetufungu? Umetufungua. My dear, the next meal with kile kililetua, hey, sijui ni ngote ilichinjua, ama ni nini? Every, yen, everything. Then, hey, waya ikasema sasa tusha pata ngubi ya kufanya nini? Ya kudumu. Then, we were able to see video sikitumwa nyumbani, selfie sikitumwa nyumbani, hile nyama imeka kwa meza, Then inaona comments zikirudi. Kwani mulienda kukura ama mulienda ku. <laughs> Hallelujah, Bwana asifiwe. Yeah, you must train on how to behave when you are elsewhere. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. On relationships. Wapi? Point gani nimesema? Hello. Nimesema nini? Liration? Nionge ni sionge? Ah. Sasa mkinyamasa ntajuaji. Eh? Sindio? Ntaongea badai. Ntaongea. Ntafika hiyo. Light. Nimemarisa light. House. Nyumba. Nyumba. H. H. Stands for happy people. Happy? Happy? Ah ah. Salam setu. Happy? Ebu Malizia. Happy? And happy? Then, <laughs> we press you down. We press you down. Kwani mbona muko happy? Mbona muko happy? Happy? Yani, you, 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 you force me to be happy, Right? You press me to be happy. I, I, I can't be hypocrite because you want to salam. You want to salamia. But naturally, naturally, spiritually, Johanna kumina tatu kumina saba, John chapter 5, oh, oh, is running. My battery is running alone. I don't know what I will do. I want to go very fast. Go on very fast. Kama kuna chacha somewhere, you help me. John chapter 13 verse 17. If you know these things, happy are you if you do them. When you know these things to do with God, I cannot tell you to be happy. You will be happy because you will be able to do them. Naturally, spiritually, you will be happy Without me pressing you. Hey, hey, onyesha nyuso sakutabasamu. Even when you are crying inside. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mukiyajua hayo, heri nini mukiyatenda? Listen, Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 2. Nehemiah verse 2, chapter 2, verse 2. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of the heart. You come to church because your heart is sorrowful. You can see from the face who you are meumia. We don't have to press you to be happy when your heart is being hurt by some other things. Therefore, it is possible that we can fake smiles. We can show off sad faces. We ought to be happy people. So that mutu wakikuona mbaya mekata tamaa, 
amekata tumaini amekata tamaa katika maisha yake anaweza kuwa na reason zero ama o optimistic mtu anaye mtumainia kristo lazima awe anaye mngojea kristo lazima awe na tumaini psalms 32 31 verse 24 psalms 31 verse 24 be of good courage and ye shall strengthen your heart all you that hope in the lord if you hope una mngojea jesus christ then be of courage be of good hope bwana asifiwe Yes, yes, mwana saburi anatuambia hiyo. Sometimes uh, when you read Philippians 1:20 why people are sad and then they are serving God. Philippians 1:20 why sad people serve God is because their expectations have not been met. Unatarajia hiki, unapata hiki. Unaomba hiki, unapata hiki. Then unapata you are sad you are sad after all you you who can guess what you stands for bila nimejaribu kujieleza hivyo who can guess what you stands for united thank you so much another eh uh-huh. Unity. Uh-huh. Another you. Understanding. If you are a choir member and there is no understanding in you. If those songs you have sung all through cannot change you. We expect the choir to be the lighthouse of God through understanding. Listen to what Job says. Job 6.24. Job 6.24. Teach me and I will hold my tongue and cause me to understand wherein I have erred. Nifunzeni nami nitanyamaza kimya mkanijulishe ni jambo gani nililo kosa. Bwana asifiwe. Yeah, you must have understanding, understanding in what you are doing. Misunderstanding mara nyingi inaletwa kutokana na lack of or poor communication. Sometimes you don't understand the people you thank you sir. Sometimes you don't understand the people you lead. You don't understand even yourself and you are a leader. Something must be done. Understand the temperaments of your people so that kasi inakuwa rais. Kwa mfano, katika kwaya, katika kikundi, kuna mtu yeye kama hajakasirika kasi haifanyiki. Hello. Yaani asira ndio na drive kazi yake inaenda vizuri. Vizuri. Na kuna mwingine usipoongea kazi haifanyi. Kuna mwingine ukasirike, usiongee, uongee, yeye anafanya ka kazi. Kuna mwingine usipomwambia imbeni, 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 hata imba na amekuja kuimba. You must understand your people. You must understand their temperaments. Yaani hisia zao za kitabia, hisia za kitabia temperaments s ndio ya mwisho lighthouse save the people sanctified people save the people sanctified people ya mwisho special people hello save the people sanctified people special people john 17 17 17 Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Uwatakaze kwa ile kweli neno lako ndiyo kweli. Salvation wacha watu wakikuona they see salvation in you. They see you are indeed set aside kufanya kazi ya Mungu. Wacha uone some speciality in you a special person. E ndio ya mwisho. Exceptional people. Exceptional people. 
Yesu anasema hivi katika 17 16 Yohana anasema wao si wa ulimwengu kama mimi ni sivyo wa ulimwengu they are not of this world even as I am not of this world special entitlement we have a special entitlement because we represent a choir here on earth ambayo iko wapi in heaven bwana asifiwe when we were Starting or uh, ending, I said, choir is a special item, right? Did I say so? Special what? Eh, how I wish. Uh, I, I, I don't use that in any again. I don't use that uh, again. Special item. I don't know what a special item means. Nimejaribu to understand what a special item means. Sijapata mwalimu wa kuniweka vizuri nipate a special item what it is In my understanding a special item goes with the theme of the day A special item specializes God and glorifies God and that's what you do I don't know whether that one explains what special item is but I want to challenge you don't settle on a special item you are always special. Don't wait for a special item. Don't train for the whole week. Then you come and sing. Sing what? Only one. Why don't you spare your time well so you can sing three special items? Why you choose one? Na hii one mubiri ya kijaribu kuikonect aingiani. Kwenu ni special Mumefungua njia, but it's like, hey, how do I connect with this one? How I wish you spend your time vizuri that a church choir must have two, three special items. Buena asifio. So don't feel special because you will be called for a special item. Hello? Feel special because you serve a special Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. Mwalimu naomba muda kidogo tu nimalize tafadhali. Please. Bwana PM. Naomba kidogo tu. Ya mwisho is about two things nataka kuongea ya mwisho. Uniform. Sema. Si ndio? Uniform and its challenges. I wear uniform. I belong to a department that wears uniform. We know how difficult it is kufa uniform. Na yetu imagine ni moja. Na yenu kwa ya ningapi. Ni nyingi, sindio? Si ni nyingi. <laughs> Yangu moja inanipa shida. Sijui nyinyi. Hata ni kuangaleza angini na waurumia. How do you make it? How do you manage it? Who finances you? Does the church say, mwaka huu, Special collection for the choir. Na tunawanunuria uniform. Oh, wanajiuliza. Does this happen? But I don't know. Listen. Uniform and its challenges. You have what we call a uniform council. Sindio? Uniform? Uniform what? Sikuna kikundi kina shugulika na uniform. Inawezekana hata katika hicho kikundi. Si wengi wanaelewa mambo ya uniform. Inawezekana. Inawezekana hapo ndani kuna wale tunasema kala 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 what? Kala blind, si ndio mwalimu? Kala blind. Ndio wanaongoza uniform, tena some of them are kala kala blind. The same people utapata wako na personal preferences. Ungeuliza wengi wanasema ni hii. But kwa council, church council inaitwaje? Uniform council itasema ni hii. And you must respect. I don't know whether that one happens here, but I'm saying what I know. Then this same one is preferred tailors, and there is nothing wrong in that. You have a tailor, and by munajua anajua kutengeneza vile heshima yetu kanunizetu sinaitaji. But do you find it easy? With other choir members. Ni raisi. 
Si rahisi. Kwa sababu kila mtu ako na personal preference yake. Not all find it easy to acquire uniforms. Kwa mfano, let me say this. In two weeks time, mutakuwa na makambi. It is possible, choir is under pressure. Uniform ya maka? Na tena muleta uniform ngapi? Ya kufunga na kufungu? Sinikweli. Na yu mulianza kununua juzi juzi, sindio? Eh, halafu unapata hapa katikati tuna, tunaenda kwa ya siku, siku nane, sindio? Sindio? Eh, kuna wale watasema hakuna kurudia uniform. Meaning, lasima kuna uniform ngapi? Nane. Halafu utapata kuna member alijiunga na nyinyi two months ago. Ana uniform moja na nanunua ya pili ya makambi. Then, mnasema sasa, hakuna kufanya nini? Hakuna kurudia uniform. Kwani, kwani mungu wetu, do we serve a poor God? No. We serve a rich God? A rich God. So, mnasa kuingia pressure. Lazima kila mtu awe na uniform. Oh, sorry. Kila mtu awe na nini? Uniform. Na lazima ufai uniform. Lazima ufanya nini? Kama utakai, utafai uniform. Hakuna kui? Hakuna kuimba, sindio? You have come to praise God because there is that ministry in you. But uniform ministry will prevent you from serving your God. You are God. These are the challenges. A uniform can be a terrible challenge. Listen how it is a challenge. Umebandu umesukumwa hapa na hapa. Nunua, nunua, nunua. And you want also pia uonekane ukimba. Unataka pia kamera siku chukwe ukimba. Hata utume hiyo video nyumbani uonekane ukimsifu mungu. But kamera haita kuona kama. The same choir member. Akiketi. Kwa mfano, chairman yanasimama. And uh, you, you are very lucky. I listened to your chairman in the morning wa makambi. With a lot of diplomas here. Uh, requesting you to <laughs> to pay towards what? Makambi. I was in another camp. Another church. Kiongozi wa makambi akasimama. He was almost crying. He was busting the, 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 the mic. We had to bring him down to do some counsel on him. What's happening? He is busting because they are not giving towards, towards nini? Kambu expenses. Can you imagine? Kambu what? Expenses. Let me tell you where the disconnect is. As a child of God, Christianity Salvation, Sabbath, isiwe mzigo kwako. We have to put our priorities in order. Tunaanza na uniform, tunakucha camp expense, tunakucha camp offerings. Uniform, takukanyagi hapa na hapa. Ikifika camp expenses, inaweza kukufata hata nyumba, hata nyumbani. Tutake kujua kwa nini? Sasa wageni watakula nini? Halo, wageni wanakuja. Watakula? Si lazima utoe. Ikifika kwa camp overing, then we are soft, then we tell you. <laughs> uh, fanya nini? Lipa vile mungu wa mekubari? God must come number one. Pressure must be on camp overings first. Because if we don't pressure the church to return, uh -uh, the devil will pressure you utalipa kuingine. Then, for us not to create a disconnect, let us prioritize. Let us prioritize. Something is misbehaving, Elder. 
I don't know where it's coming from. There is an alarm disturbing me and I don't know. Help it, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You see when Mzigo Kwako, you end up getting a lot of stress. You end up saying, Ata kasi, Ata, Ata fadhali o makambi kai. Unasikia, Yaziwani kokaribu, Unaenda Yaziwani. Uh, because that's a, they, they are not asking you to buy a uniform. You una attend Yaziwani. Kesho una attend Yakizingo. Yako ikifika, Unakuja saile mekui. Imekuishi. How we pray that let it not be. Now, I want to ask you a question. There is a uniform and there is a costume. Do you know a costume? Do you know a costume? You may feel that that language is not friendly, but it's official language. A costume or a uniform is a question mark. I'm asking. Let me tell you the difference between a uniform and a costume. A costume is something you put on and they pretend that you are what you are wearing. Unanipata? A costume is something that you put on and you pretend to be what you are wearing. Unaweza fa uniform ya choir kumbe wewe si mwana choir. Then what is a uniform? On the other hand, number one, the uniform reminds you who you are. What you wear reminds you that you are in a period of service designed to change our attitudes and actions. For instance, if you are a police officer, what are you here? All of us will turn to answer Kuangalia. What is happening? Kwanini ma police wa mengia? Some of us could be like, eh? eh? Ni mimi? And you have not done anything? Hmm? Hmm? Ukimuona mutu jambasi ya mefawa uniform ya police, you will think it's a police officer. Kumbe ni jambasi. We are saying this. You wear to remind you that you are in service and to change our attitudes and actions. So, special occasions, we have like camp meetings, weddings, video shooting, audio training, recording. For instance, we experience some problems when we are uh, training, for instance. When I tell you, come we train here, I may find it difficult. But when I tell you, tunaenda kufanya audio, also, na esapata kiasi. But if I say it, camera siko hapa kesho, Wangabi watakuja? Wangabi watakuja? Si wote. So, video shooting ni muhimu sana. It attracts us all. So, lastly, but not least, how did you join choir? How did you join choir? Number one, maybe you were invited by a friend. I want, I want you to tell me. Maybe you were invited by a friend Number two, you joined because you were idle at home. Number three, you joined to get a fiancé. You know what I mean? Hello? You joined to go to what? A fiancé. Number four, you found yourself in. Hata, how did you join choir? Then you are like, <laughs> you don't know. You are in a choir. Number mungine, how did you join? I abandoned gossiping for singing. Niliacha kupiga tarumbeta yangu kule inje. Nikaacha kufanya nini? Kumuimbia mungu. Mwingina nasema, I joined the choir because I have a singing gift. Mwingina nasema, I was inspired by the songs. Mwingina nasema, I was attracted by a certain performance. Performance. I was attracted by uniforms. Kuna uniform inesa kukufutia ukaingia choir. Kuna performance. Performance. Na hii performance, njo hiko shida. We have interviewed some people who walishudia performance where people came to stage and then they performed not only singing but by body performance into brackets 
dancing. Now, lakini mambo yote na yatendeke kwa uzuri na kwa utaratibu according to 1st Corinthians 14:40. Let everything be done to the glory to the glory of God. The greatest question now we are asking ourselves, how did you join choir? Is that something that made you join the choir? Still holding you on? Ama ulikuja, ukawaja, ukaanza kutafuta, kingine. Kingine. Because I understand my time is not on my side. Nimekula time yenu ya wimbaji. I wanted us to, to get some feedback, some questions from you people. I found it necessary that ni vizuri tuelezane. We may think that we are doing the right thing in the name of God. Only to realize... Though God is quiet, we're using his name on the wrong path. Kufika hapo si mungu atubariki. How did you join choir? Sister Eunice, how did you join choir? What inspired you to join choir? One, two, three people. How did you join choir? You have the passion of singing. Sister, how did you join choir? So you belong together. You like singing. How did you join the choir, Mama? Wangapi walingia kwa sababu wamebarikiwa wanataka kuimba. They walikuja because they start the gift in them. So most of them walikuja because of that gift. Lenza, I saw Lenza here. You are a choir member. Hey, my friend, how did you join the choir? <laughs> what inspired you to join the choir? That, that, that was that. Uh, 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 what, what made you to join the choir? How did you join the choir? So all of us, we have a gift in us. Right? So are you using that gift to the glory of God? Is the same person being used to torment the church? To torment the choir? With the choir? You have a gift of praising God? But the same gift can be misused. The ball is in your court. Fortunately or unfortunately. Uh, family life is almost equal. The number of male singers, female singers is almost equal. Right? And I, I was seeing the, the back row, almost all. Front row, almost all. You are like a killer, eh? It was like a family. Kila mutu na wake, sindio? Hello. It was almost equal. That is a plus. There is a choir I was seeing the other day. Female are 30 something. Male are four. So I was asking... <laughs> All these ladies, hey, and 90% of them are family members. So I was asking, you are, they cannot sing? Why can't we balance the choir, the choir? Now that since time is not on our side, I seek, I beg to end it there. If there is any discussion, maybe after the singing, if at all, there will be time. The last stanza of the wimbo we did, Miguni Pake Yesu, if we can do it on our standing, Miguni Pake Yesu. And uh, can we sing it? Can we sing it really? I know we are tired, but let's sing as if in the Otunanza Sabbath school. Oh, 
Endo ni yone ni Yone uso wako Ni pebwana Ni pebwana ni aya As we are, we pray. Father, the most gracious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, holy and throned in the praises of his people, we thank you once again. We lift your name on I once again. You are God forever. You created us so that we may worship you. But Father, we have used our bodies to disrespect your holiness. How I pray, Father, that you forgive us, give us the strength to worship you according to your perfect will. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Happy Sabbath, happy day. I want to believe that we are getting blessed. Uh, at this point, I want to hand over to Teacher Florid, who is going to give us the next way forward from here. Karibu Mwalimu. Happy Sabbath, happy day. We had suspended some group a special one, the youth choir for a night team. And as they come, our choristers can come and uh, take us through one stanza. Ru youths, 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 it's your turn. Choristers, please. After the youths, we are going to Nyali West. Get ready. Number to turn at Twitter. Ninety-nine. Twenty four years to me. The youths are going to do a duet. Thank you. 
By public demand, can we have the youths back? And please don't call me Shosh again. Nimekua <laughs> <laughs> youth from today. Roko pages.
Thank you, youth choir. You'll come again another time. We are inviting Nyali West for an I two items. Nyali West, two items. After Nyali West, we'll have the family life choir for two items. Nyali West.
What do we tell them? Nimepata habari ya kwamba hata Nyali West wanaomba kwenda. Lakini kabla tuwaruhusu kwenda ningeomba kiongozi wao aje aseme mawili matatu kisha tuwaage kirasmi. Wametufanyia vizuri kwa kuja. Sisi pia tungependa tuwaruhusu maana hata wao kesho wako na kibarua kama sisi. Thank you. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Ah, mnapendeza sana. Tunashukuru ku, kwa vile mmetukaribisha kwenyu. Tunasema ni asante kubwa. Na Mungu azidi kuwabariki. Family Life Choir Director or Representative, what do you have to say for this team? Okay, happy Sabbath. Tunashukuru kwaya ya Unyali West kwa kufika hapa kwa jili ya sabato ya siku ya leo. Na mini ya kwamba sote tumweza kubarikiwa kwa huduma yao ambayo wameweza kufanya hapa. Wanaporudi kanisani Okay, nimeambiwa kwamba kuna elda wametembea naye na mwalika aje. Mtakaporudi kanisani kule muweze kupeleka salamu zetu na enda kuja. Weze enda Upeleke salamu zetu. Nyali West is not a new church for us. We have been there several times. We have ministered with them. And we are happy that they accepted to be with us. Kwa hivyo mkiguli pale na njipia mpeleke salamu zetu. Wajatu mpe elda na fasi na hefe ya seme jambo kabla wajatu. Washiriki wa binguni buwana yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe mokozi. Mimi natoa shukrani zangu sana kwa upande wa family life kwa kutukaribisha tumekaa vizuri tumejisikia tumefika kwa sister na brother nimezidi kushukuru kwa niaba yao na ningependa sana pia niombe salamu kwa kutoka kwa elders kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa nafuja nililetewa salamu ya elder opere na ntumai nishampa na elder chia kama yuko apoke salamu kutoka kwa elder okeo joseph hata kama hayuko jirani yake atampelekea singeweza kurudi nazo na sasa ni wakati mwingine pia sisi tuko na occasion kesho na tunazidi kuomba maombi yenu tuweke kwa maombi hata nyinyi ambao pia uko na hiyo pia nasikia pia Mungu akipenda iende sawa sawa vile Mungu amependa kwa hivyo kwa wakati wa sasa naomba salamu zenu nitapeleka vile umenipa asante Elda Ojok tawaweka kwa mikono ya Mungu. Uh, kwa hivyo pia nasi tunashukuru kama kanisa na uongozi wa kanisa kwa ajili ya kuweza kuitikia mwito huo wa ukaribisho. Na kabla mjatoka tungependa kukaweza kusimama sote ili tukaweze kuweka mikononi mwake Mwenyezi Mungu. Tunaomba Mungu Jehova uishie milele nasema ni asante kwa sababu ya upendo wako hasa siku hii ya leo sabato yako takatifu baba tazama umeweza kuwaleta wana na binti zako kutoka Nyali West wameweza wakaweza kukusifu kupitia kwa nyimbo wameweza kutupatia ujumbe ambao baba uliweza kuwapatia na baba ni masaa mengine tena mazuri ambapo wanataka kukumbukana kuweza kuelekea katika kanisa lao pia kuweza kujitayarisha kwa ajili ya vipindi ambavyo viko mbele yetu Baba tunaomba kwamba uwepo wako ukaweze kuwa juu yao. Kile ambacho umeweza kukiweka ndani ya mioyo yao, hebu ikaweze kuwa ni vile ambavyo vitakavyotoka, kaweze kuwa yenye mibaraka kwa watu wengine. Baba tunaomba ya kwamba ukazidi kuwa bariki katika manyimbo ma, ma zao ili nyimbo zao zikazidi kuweza kukuta wengi, kuweza kufikia we Mungu wa kweli na kweli huu pia ukaweza kufikia wengi ambao watasikiza nyimbo hizo baba. Naomba ukaweze kutembea nao barabarani 
Tukaweze kuwapatia usafiri mwema. Hata itakapokupendeza tena siku nyingine tukaweze kuonana. Tukufu na sifa zikaweze kurudia Mungu kweli. Zaidi ya yote, samee dhambi na makosa yetu. Tutayarishe kwa ajili ya kurudi kwako mara ya pili kwa nikutia kwa Kristo ambaye Bwana mkombozi wetu. Tunaomba na kuamini. Mungu awabariki. Asante ningeomba kuita Family Life Church Choir for an item before we usher in the closing sermonet. Na wakiendelea kufika sijui wewe ambaye umekaa hapa mpaka saa hizi umefaidika vipi na hizi nyimbo zimeimbwa hapa. Je, kuna neno ambayo umeipata kupitia kwa nyimbo? Najua mara nyingi nyimbo tunasikia tu ni dundo na sauti na tunasema hey that song was nice did you get a message from any of the songs the last two, two songs sung by Nyali West zimeniguza kiasi kuna yule mwanamke alitokwa na damu kwa miaka 12 akagusa pindo ya nguo ya Yesu family life church i expect to see you up akapona kisha kuna yule msichana aliyekuwa amegawa na pepo alikuwa anapatia watu wao faida Paulo na Sila wakamsimamisha na walipokuwa wamefanya hivyo waka banduliwa na jamii ya hapo wakatolewa hiyo inakufundisha nini licha ya hayo walisimama imara tusimame imara tuwe na imani katika Yesu tukitarajia family life kwa ye.
to call our guest, Evangelist Gerald. I call him Chaplain Gerald for a closing sermonette. Happy Sabbath. Happy. Happy day. God is good. And all the time. Thank you so much. Um, I am before you to share something small. Though the coordinator has called the guest, but uh, I was also informed that I need to share something small to finish. So, but uh, uh, I hope the leadership of the the choir is getting ready. Ili ni takapo maliza tutafanya. Vote of thanks to Malize Ili Tweze Kuenda. I just have something short to share with us. And um, let's pray. Our Father, what in heaven, we want to thank you so much for this evening. We want to thank you for your blessings upon us. We want to share your word to help us move through this week. How we pray, oh God, that your blessings may be upon us and that you may impress within our hearts these words so that, Father, we may get strength to help us move through the week with you, waiting for your second coming. This I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I just have two verses which I would like to share briefly, and then we have our guest pray, and then uh, the leadership of the choir and the leadership of the church will release us. In the book of Lamentation chapter 3, Lamentations chapter 3, Lamentations chapter 3, Lamentation is a book of Lamentation as the title says, and this is Jeremiah lamenting about the life of the Israelites, the anguish that God gave unto him concerning the life of the Israelites, how they lived their life, and how uh, God expected them to live, but they went against his word. And there are so many good things in this so many warnings, let me call them warnings, in this book that we are also, I, I would also like to call upon us to have time to read so that we can also be warned and be prepared. But today, as we go through this week, we are finishing this week of, uh, by, by 25th today, we are having the last days, the last six days of the month. When you read chapter 25, chapter 3, verse 25, 
Jeremiah is saying something. Jeremiah is reminding us something that I would like us to also be reminded as we go through this week. And he says, the Lord is good to those who wait for him. Amen? The Lord is good to those who wait on him or wait for him. I believe all of us are waiting for God. And the Bible promises the Lord is good to those who wait for him. To the soul who seeks him. How I pray that as we'll be going through this week, starting this evening, that daily, each and every time, we should seek for God. For the Lord is good to those who wait for him and those who seek him. And then in verse 26, he says, It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Amen? The week, we don't know what is going to happen in the course of the week. Because God has not given us that knowledge. Nobody knows except God. We don't know the plans that God have for us. What we know is that the Lord has promised in Jeremiah 29 that he has good plans for us. Now as we go through this week, as we go through our lives, my prayer is we seek the Lord daily. We wait upon the Lord always, for the Lord is good to those who seek unto him. And then he says, God, our God is good to one who hopes. It is good that we should hope and wait quietly. Tusi nungunike. Watoto wale walisema hapa, manunguniko ni maba? Mabaya. So tunapaenda nyumbani, tusije tukanungunika, mambo yatakuwa mengi. Dunia hii imejaa changamoto. Changamoto zitakuwa, lakini tusitungunike. Tungoje, tumsubiri bwana kila wakati kwa uvumilivu na kwa utulivu, kwa sababu mungu yu mwema kwa wale wote ambao watamtumainia, wale ambao watamtafuta, wale ambao watamtegemea kwa maisha yao yote. For the salvation, those who wait quietly for his salvation, tungoje wokovu wa bwana kila wakati. So let's not complain. Let's not uh, vent our anger endlessly. But when things are tough, when things are easy, when you are going through the waters, when you are going through the fire, or you are going through a smooth road, in all situations, let's praise God. For the Lord has good plans for us, and he has said that he is good unto those who wait quietly upon his salvation. And for those who will seek him, and those who will look for him, and those who will wait for him, the Lord is always good unto them. And he has promised a blessing unto all of us. Amen? So as we go through this week, please let's have these things in our mind. Let's wait upon our, the salvation of the Lord quietly. What we can do is to approach his throne with humility and with prayer. Next week will be a week of prayer and fasting. Next Sabbath will be a, a week, a day of prayer and fasting. And I believe all of us, we are going to prepare ourselves. We are going to pray. So that next Sabbath, to Kikuja Hapa, I believe everyone will have a testimony on how good the Lord has been unto him or unto her throughout the week. For you waited upon his salvation quietly. And may God bless us. Let's stand for a word of prayer. Thank you so much, Hilda. I want to take this opportunity before we pray to thank every one of you. Ambaye ya mejika kamua mbaka tuko na e mbaka daika ya musho. Mungu wabariki sana sana sana. I want to, to pray from Exodus. To pray from Exodus. From Exodus chapter 23 verse 25. Ambayo inasema. 325 my bible reads Mungu anasema mtanitumikia mimi Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu wenu nami nitawabariki kwa chakula na maji na kuyaondoa magonjwa kati yenu mtanitumikia mimi Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu wenu na mimi nitawabariki kwa chakula 
na maji na kuyaondoa magonjwa kati yenu hakutakuwa na mwanamke yeyote atakayepoteza mimba wala kuwa tasa katika nchi yenu nami nitawajalia maisha marefu that is my prayer lastly but not least after tukimaliza makambi i would request that uh, i was here some time back asking that uh, we join uh, in our uh, uwa tunafanya mwito mwito wetu si wa kupatiza mwito wetu ni kusema can we have members joining us in our team so that we can work for god better and better and better we can have people joining us working together i want to thank you because some members from the choir and another lady there divina joined us we had our own short training in chaplaincy thank you so much for giving me hand and i want to pray that god willing after makambi you will join us so that we train more and more and more to avoid a situation where we witnessed in america where a, a, a crazy man went to school shot 20 pupils killed 20 pupils killed six teachers and then the government said now those who survived ikawa now how do we minister to these young people who survived then uh, uh, experts wakasema we don't have counselors but we have trained dogs so wakaleta umbwa kila mtoto aliye nusurika anapewa umbwa moja wanacheza na umbwa the whole day ndio mawazo itoke kwa yule umbwa america as great as it is does not have counselors who can counsel people who go through hell they use animals we don't want to go that way we have counselors sitting here our children in school need you we need people to attend to them so that we have a generation that god will bank on when time comes atakuuliza watoto nilikupa wako wapi you will be able to say they are working they are working for god shall we pray father in the most gracious name once again we are before thee tumeinua mioyo yetu baba ukapate kuijaza tunasema ni asante kwa wema wako umetufumilia na kutufundisha tangu asubuhi baba ni siku imefika tamati asante kwa kila mmoja aliyepata nafasi ya kuja hapa na nakusihi kwa njia ya kipekee kila mmoja nakuhitaji kwa njia moja au nyingine kawaonekanie watoto wako kawainue Mwenyezi Mungu uwatoe kiwango walicho hadi kiwango kingine tusidi kukuona na kukusikia zaidi kuliko vile ambavyo tumekuona mwingi wa msamaha tunakuona tena upeleleze mioyo yetu ukatupe ondoleo la msamaha ukatupe msamaha mahali ambapo tumeenda makosa tushike mkono nyumbani familia zetu sinakuhitaji wengine wetu hatuna amani nyumbani baba the prince of peace we invite you into our families cancel our families cancel our neighborhood cancel our church our leadership cancel our nation kenya because we need you more than before asante mungu wetu kwa kuwa ni baba mwenye upendo tunafumuka hapa sasa kwa maana tumefika tamati lakini wacha tuendelee kuona mkono wako shughuli za wiki nzima mikononi mwako tunaziweka viongozi watakaoingia mamlakani wiki nzima tunawaombea kazi zako sipate kufanyika kwa sawa ili utukufu wako usidi kuonekana asante kwa kusikia umbile yetu jehova na kuitikia sawa sawa na mapenzi yako katika kristo aishie tunaomba na kuamini amen Asante kabla tujatoka kiongozi anapokuja ni vizuri sister Sara simama utusalimie sister Sara naamini ya kwamba wengi tunamfahamu kwa sababu tumemwona tukiwa ziwani lakini yeye ndiyo kiongozi wa training chaplaincy uh, training division iko chini yake wakisaidiana na Elagishaba katika station so please greet us Asante sana kwa kuwa nasi tangu asubuhi. Amjambo. Amjambo tena. How was the day? Were you blessed? Yes, I was also blessed. When we started the Sabbath, we asked for the presence of the Lord to guide us through the day and he has guided us we give glory to him 
We thank God for that. And we still keep on requesting God to always guide us in everything that we do. I want to take this opportunity to thank the KMTC, whom I gave a very short notice of the invitation. I gave them an in invitation on Thursday night to the director, and your response was so good. May God bless you so much. I wish that your director or the co the your leader is here to come and just say hi. Just come and say hi to us. God is good all the time. Yeah, I'm uh, Eric, currently the choir director at KMTC. We want to say thank you. The day has been a blessing. And uh, we hope for an invite when there is something like this again. May God bless us all and uh, be blessed. KMTC group, keep on working for the Lord. Never tire. Work until Jesus comes back. Secondly, I want to thank Family Life Choir. You are just a special group. Thank you for your cooperation, for your commitment, for this day to be success. The choir members has been coming here for the whole of the week. And tomorrow, we also have a function. May God bless you, my dear sisters and brothers. Thirdly, I want to thank the leadership of the church for allowing us and giving us this chance to work for the Lord or to be in the program to take the day as choir members. May God bless the leadership, and may we all continue working for the Lord. And to the members, those who are listening, I hope Mumetoka Nakitu, as you are still living on earth, identify the gift or your talent. Use it to work for the Lord. If you can sing, join the choir and sing. If you can preach, preach. If you can do counseling, do it in your own way. If you can be a comforter to anybody, do it. As we wait for the second coming of our Lord. And for the speaker of the day, my teacher, my elder, Mr. Gerald Gichaba. I want to say thank you very much for appreciating to come and share with us. Even you, you were given a very short notice. I think it was even less than one week. But God used you in a special way. May God continue using you and bless you. Otherwise, the day has ended and we are breaking, we are going home. As you disperse, may God go with you, may God use you, and continue working for the Lord. Today, the church is full, almost full, Mpakasai, just because we were praising God and we loved listening to the word of God. Otherwise, pray for the choir. Tomorrow we are still going for uh, a music fair at CCC Church. Put us in your, pray in your prayers so that we may do well. I, our voices may come out well so that even angels above 
and God in heaven can be glorified. May God be with you until we meet again on Wednesday for the midweek prayers. Otherwise, God bless you all. And as we leave, we are reminded the children's teachers, please meet.